Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you, and Season's Edge is now live. FM Pwn's reskin of the map DE Season hit the workshop to fairly positive reviews. Let's be honest, FM Pwn is a class ahead when it comes to the visual and optimization aspects of mapping for the Source Engine. So, a recipe for success. Take a classic map layout, let FM Pwn go mad on it for a few months, question mark, question mark, question mark, profit. Season is a unique layout in that it comes from CS Source and not 1.6. Most of the maps that you see and some point originated from the original Counter-Strike. This is an exception to that. Um, it's why many of the longtime players who skipped out on Source might not be as familiar with it. I was asked in an AMA on the CSGO subreddit which map I would like to see added into the competitive aspect of the game. I responded with DE Season. This is a map I've been looking forward to getting added into the competitive aspect, and this was way before this reskin happened. With Season, it is somewhat difficult for terrorists to rotate between the bomb sites. The only path is either a really long way back through T-spawn, or in some way to take mid-control. One of the things separating this map from the other versions of Season is that it's very easy to see a player rotating through the vents. It's like they're right there. There's nothing separating. There's no screen or anything like that. And you can't really sneak by. So that could be a negative in the fact that it makes rotating a lot more difficult. Mid control is crucial for terrorists to execute any kind of a strategy beyond just doing a bombsite take. This map probably fits into the NA style of play more than the EU style of play due to the benefits of just doing an outright bomb site take without CTs having much intel to execute a rotate and really set up for it properly. Because of this, I would expect Season to be a slightly terrorist-sided map going forward. We'll learn more about how that works as this new skin is played more, hopefully in competition and probably in a new operation. As for the visual style itself, I'm excited. It's unique, it brings a new style of map to CSGO, it's reminiscent of Agency from, uh, from the previous operation. It seems like Agency has spawned this new style of map, this very modern style. Uh, funny story, when I first spawned on this map as a terrorist, and I was looking at the writing on the wall, I asked FM Pwn what language it was, because I, you know, I didn't want to sound stupid. As soon as I asked the question, I turned around, and it became painfully obvious. The map has a smooth, modern look to it. I almost expect to see something from Calder in one of these little open areas. Also, there's not a lot to line up nades with. I would think that at this point, mappers would include visual cues with the idea that they would be used to line up smokes and flashes and that sort of thing. Eventually, reproducible nades will be found, but lining them up is really a chore aspect to the game, something to memorize. I wouldn't mind one bit if they were just visual cues designed to guide the player in throwing them. Um, like, you can use the Berlin TV Tower in Overpass to really line up a number of the different really cool uh, smoke throws. There isn't a lot of that here on this version of Season. It's almost too clean. It seems a lot of thought was put into making player models visible. The colors on the walls used, the lack of distracting stuff and textures, really make it easy to make out enemies. It, it makes playing on this map feel very smooth and refreshing. This is something we've been calling for with, with uh, the new Counter-Strike, to give that feel um, like how the previous games, it was very easy to make out enemies, the walls were very flat. This has that while still keeping a very vibrant visual style and has the new CSGO style to it. Overall, along with this new reskin and the current work being done on Tuscan, we should expect to see some new, playable, competitively viable maps. I'm excited. I'm still waiting for new maps, though, not just using old redesigns. I would love to see a new layout. That would be so cool. Overpass is really the only competitively viable new layout out there right now. Um, DE Crown had high hopes, but I don't, re haven't really seen it played anywhere. I think that's kind of because of the lack of a mid. Um, either way, this is an exciting time for Counter-Strike. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.